Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at pop-up boxes in JavaScript. Now there are three kinds of uh, pop-up boxes in JavaScript, the alert box, the confirm box and the prompt box. Now the alert box I actually used in some of my previous videos uh, and it's basically just alert with brackets and inside here you type in something that wants, you want to display. So for example, this is an alert and let's save and refresh. There we go. Instead of uh, something being displayed in our browser screen itself, this uh, extra pop-up thing comes up with the value or the text you want you inserted within the brackets like so. Now alert box is useful when you want to make sure that the person who is visiting your website is reading uh, some information, okay? Because when it pops up, uh, you can't really do anything to it. You can't like uh, ignore it unless you press OK so that it goes away. Now uh, in here, what we could do instead of directly uh, writing the string we want to display is typing our variable. Say for example we have a variable called text equals uh, say this is uh, text and then what we could do is insert the variable name and when we refresh it will actually uh, output the value of the variable. Now this is off topic to what we are talk we're looking at today, which is the pop-up box. But what if we want to uh, wrap around this text word with this double quotes? Now in JavaScript, or in this case, we used uh, the double quotes to actually tell the JavaScript that this is a text. So if we try to write in uh, typing another set of double quotes, it will think that this is the end of uh, the string and this will be another set of string and this text will be some random I don't know variable or uh, something else but in this case it will be an error because the structure is wrong now what we could do is instead of uh, just directly typing in what do you call it uh, the double quotes what we could do is use the forward slash now the forward slash acts as like a, an what shall I say what is a good way of explaining it it basically uh, lets you ignore the actually this is a backslash lets you ignore the next uh, character over here and tells the browser that it's not the same as this but instead it's just a string that you want it to be displayed inside your website okay now this uh, converts the this backslash converts this uh, double quotes into actually a string so let's uh, save our work and refresh there we go now this is a text message is being displayed and the text is being wrapped around with the double quotes without any errors now if we use uh, instead single quotes to wrap around the string and say this is a text we could just use this and it would display it fine but then what if we wanted to display single quotes like so again the same thing happens so what we need to do is use the backslash uh, over here and over here to make sure that this uh, single quotes over here and over here are uh, strings and not command and there we go this is a text and the, the word text is being uh, wrapped around with the single quotes so uh, what's the time now that's more I guess I'll stop it here for now and then in my next video I will talk both about the confirm box and the other one what was it uh the confirm box and the prompt box that's it so thanks for watching and i'll see you later